So welcome. Valentine's Day and the day of uh, whether you celebrate it or not, it, I don't, it doesn't really bother me or matter in that way. It's, uh, I'm not a big celebration for Valentine's myself, but I've been thinking about it all, all day. And anything that draws attention to the heart, I'm like, oh yeah. So in honor that it happens to be Valentine's Day, and it's like, okay, what's well, a heart day? So let's do a class that just helps us be kind to ourselves, caring to ourselves, offering ourselves this time, this energy. And we'll begin with melting heart. So if you want to have a block or folded cushions or blankets, whatever is comfortable, lying back. If you want hello under your head. And there's always the option of which angle you do it. So I quite like it this way, but you can do it also lengthwise. And if you have longer, um, even an other rolled up yoga mat is nice or longer cushions, whatever. I'm just going to get my angle right with a better in screen. And then when you lie back, seeing if you want something for your head or if it's okay for the neck. The legs can be extended or in butterfly. Arms either up or down, straight or folded. And landing in this shape, heart opening, reclined posture. See, so how does it feel to land in your heart? Maybe your heart has had an easy day today. Maybe it's been a more difficult day. Maybe it's been quite a neutral or even boring day. So however this day has been so far, however it is for your heart, turning towards. Sense of hello heart. I'm here, feeling you. Really letting your heart feel felt, feel tuned into. With asking your heart, how are you? And patiently listening, patiently feeling into. Maybe there's some more shyer parts that take some time until they can express how they're feeling. Maybe there's some louder parts that just need to really get it out for now. So however your heart is expressing yourself, listening and feeling. How are you, heart? What are you feeling?
How else are you feeling heart? What else is there? And thanking your heart for sharing what your heart has shared. Thanking your heart for being your heart. For not only pumping the blood through your body, but being that gateway into the emotional body. Feel and connect with life. Thank you, heart. I appreciate you. Three, four more breaths here. And then to come out, I find the easiest way is to bend the knees and roll to one side, remove what's behind and lie on your back. And now feel the extra space, the back of the heart in your back. How do you feel now? And we'll come into a back bend twist. So this is where you keep one leg straight and you come over with the other side. You may even scoop back that back leg a bit more and then roll back with your shoulder and you can keep the leg straight or if it's feasible and effective, you can bend the knee and come into what's called cattail. Of course, if the knee is lifted, you may find um, resting the block or cushion under the knee is helpful, or you might like just having it hang. So you don't want any discomfort in the knee or the shoulder, either with a straight leg or bending the back leg for cattail and holding the foot. We'll be here for five minutes, choosing what's appropriate and effective for your body this class. So being a back bend twist, there's continuing with this heart opening. But from the back bend, symmetrical now adding in a twist. Connecting with your breath here. Feeling the expansion of an inhale. And that release of the exhale.
jaw soft, tongue relaxed. Feeling the movement of your breath. How does your breath feel here now? Is it possible to relax into your breathing, into your body? Another breath or two here. Then ever so slowly, especially if you were holding on to that foot, gently release it and come back onto your back, knowing that it, the body may feel extra sensitive after that. And that's normal that willingness to be with awkwardness, sensitivity, fragility. Not only are we deepening our flexibility in yin, but we're stretching out our emotional capacity. We're getting more comfortable with being uncomfortable. So when those uncomfortable sensations come up, 
physically or emotionally in these postures. Just feeling them. And in a really safe way for yourself, measured for yourself, widening your bandwidth of tolerance. And with this courage and trust that you can feel what's going on. And letting your heart feel that you're there for it. You're holding it, loving it. Whatever state it happens to be in, joyful or sorrowful, at ease or frustrated, anything at all. Another five, six breaths here, feeling this rebound, feeling this moment. And when you're ready, twisting to the other side. So the other leg straight, bend the leg, coming over, scooting that back leg as far back as it's willing to go. And then rolling with your shoulder back, either keeping the leg straight or bending it, holding it with your hand to your foot. You can pad under the knee or shoulder. So even if you've done this many times before, that freshness in, oh, what needs support this practice? What feels okay this practice? And then mm, sinking into the twist on this side. Pleasant, unpleasant, neutral, strong or subtle. Deepening your capacity to be with what's here, awake to now. So breathing consciously into now, into your body in this shape. Relaxing into what's here. Giving space to what's here.
willingness to breathe through what's here. Breathing through the beauty and the difficulty, the ease and the bumps. Whatever happens to be here, three more breaths, consciously, willingly, breathing through it, feeling it just as it is, not how you wish it to be. And then slowly taking your time to come out of the shape. And I find that oof, coming out can feel more awkward than being in. Finding a neutral shape and connecting with the ground beneath you. How's your heart now? Taking your time to roll over onto your belly and seeing what it's like to lie this way around. Legs, whatever distance feels comfortable. See if it's a way to let your forehead rest on the ground so you can get a pillow to rest your head on or bring your hands so the back of the neck is straight. And we'll rest here for a couple of minutes. Just flipped over and how does that feel for the heart to be held this way around? And your body relax into the ground beneath you. A sense of giving your body permission to relax more and more. Maybe even sighing here five, six times. How does it feel to be lying on your belly, surrendering into gravity?
And then taking your time to come into the back bend from this angle. So either up in your elbows for Sphinx or higher up in your hands for seal or lower down with arms stacked of arm and forehead down for sleeping sphinx. And the upper body meridians start and end in the fingers. So you can either press the fingers together like this. The heart is on the inside of the small finger. Or if your hands are down, or if you're up here, here and still, you can push the fingertips a little more. So this is gentle stimulation, the tips of the fingers. And what's coming to mind for me is um, there's this live MRT you can watch on YouTube of um, somebody breathing. And so you see the lungs and the heart and the organs and this dance of how every breath is a massage for the heart and how the beating heart is massaging the space around. So if you like, feeling into breath and heart, dancing together, massaging each other, interdependent. And this beauty between the heart and the lungs and also offer such richness to the rest of the organs. They are moved and massaged by the breath and the beating heart. Breathing into the chest. Tuning in to this heart lung interconnection, co creating.
two, three more breaths here. Feeling into the heart, lungs. Breathing, massaging each other through the pulsations. And with a sense of gratitude and wonder. Coming out of the shape and lying on your belly again, feeling the rebound. So again, it may be more awkward than being in. Building up your tolerance to be with sensitivity. And depending on what feels better for you, either rolling on your back and hugging your knees in or pushing back into child. And you can do child with the knees together or with the knees wider apart. You can hug your knees in with the knees together or apart. So the forward bend, either in child, or hugging your legs in, or even resting the legs up furniture for a waterfall. Breathing in here, feeling this. What else can you relax here? What else can you help melt to feel held?
Another breath or two here. And coming out and lying on your back or your belly and feel this rebound. What's going on this time around? Those of you lying on your back, roll over again to the belly. And we'll come into lizard. If it's okay, up on the elbows and bringing up one knee and the foot can be in or out. You may wanna put a padding under the knee. We'll only be here for two minutes. So another slight twist and back bend. And then we're going to not only come up here, but we're gonna see, <laughs> pardon me, what it's like to turn and look back towards your knee. So looking towards your knee here for a few breaths, letting the other hips sink down, letting the jaw be soft. This becomes too much for your neck. You can always come out earlier. Tongue relaxed. Letting your hips sink down as you look towards or even past the knee. Maybe yawns come up. Bring the eyes back and the head back. And bring your torso back to the center. Legs stay as they are a little longer. Feeling this, allowing this. And then straighten the leg behind you and lowering down again. What's the difference from the one side to the other? What are you aware of here? And how's your heart feeling right now? And then when you're ready, to the other side, bending the other knee up, foot either in or out. Seeing how high up the elbows feels okay for you. And then if it's okay to turn your head and look towards the knee with the eyes and the head. Letting your hips sink, your belly relax. 
they good. <sighs> Maybe yawns come up. Maybe my yawns make you yawn. Really good sign. What else can you relax here? A few more breaths. Looking towards or beyond the knee as the belly and the hips sink down. And then bring the eyes back and the head back. Relaxing again even more into this back bend, into this shape. And then ever so slowly coming out. How's your heart now? How are you feeling? And we'll come into a forward bend. And the choices I have for you is you can come sitting into butterfly with adding under the head, letting the head hang. Or if it feels okay for you and you like to stand and dangle, you can come into dangling. So dangling is not for everyone with high or low, low blood pressure. Maybe it's a bit too much. So either butterfly or dangling. Nose and butterfly padding what needs padding, head hanging or resting on something. And everyone can really let the neck relax, the head relax, back round, the arms soft. How does your breath feel in this orbit? And whatever, it's too long or long enough in the shape, of course, come on out.
Another breath or two here. Ever so slowly in your way, coming out to lie on your back. How do you feel now? How's your heart? How's your body? And your heart body connection. Letting the focus stay with the breath. This felt sense of breath in the body. Heart long dance of the breath. Possibly feeling in how life is holding you. The earth is supporting you. You can relax and trust that support. Connect with that support. Surrender into that support.
How do you feel now? If you like, you can bring one hand on the belly and one hand on the heart. They're still or massaging. Belly, heart, mind, connection. Awareness of now. Feeling now. Being with now. And thanking your heart. Thanking your body. Thanking your mind. And stretching, yawning. <sighs> Sighing. Oh, whatever comes up. And coming up. And as you come up, by all means, you can circle the wrists around remember the heart meridian runs down the arm to the small finger and the wrists are so narrow and energy can get a little bit stagnated in there so just this awe oh, stretching up moving the arm If you like, bring the hands together. May we rest in our spacious minds. In our compassionate, joyful hearts. And may we be grounded in our bodies in this present moment full of gratitude. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs>